This is a beautifully put together orchestra library from Project Sam. Great for adding drama and richness to your music, super easy to use, and the most amazing thing is it's completely and utterly free. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Yes, this amazing library is completely free and it works with the free version of contacts now before you rush off and follow the links for those in the description down below it's worth watching the rest of this video so that you get a bit of a head start in knowing how to use this amazing library so the demo that we heard at the beginning of this video was entirely created using instruments from this library i thought we'd have a listen to it again without my voice over this time so you can properly hear what's going on and keep an eye out for this area of the interface where you're going to see some of the names of instruments as they're introduced. And there's really quite a nice range of instruments included. If we go up to the library menu at the top left hand side here, we can actually see them here and we can even preview them before we load them up. Now on the top line here, we've got some more traditional instruments, things like the horns. We've got some short strings, longer strings, and those handy bombastic basses. We've also got a choir in there, which sounds like this. And you can even change the vowel sounds of that choir as you're playing. We've got some percussion, which is this a part of the library called Power Strike. If we preview this, we just heard the snare roll there, but there's actually a number of different percussion instruments included with that part of the library. Then we've got some more sort of dramatic stuff, which I think would be handy for cinematic pieces or soundtracks. Things like ghostly clusters. We've got Pandora Panic. And the always handy Tootie Hits. I also enjoyed using this one, Wretched Rises. Have a listen to this. Now, something which I didn't use in the demo piece was Organ Mystique. That's an organ, and it sounds like this. And I thought we'd load that up now. Now, if I click on that, I've got the option to add to the mixer or replace mixer. We'll talk about that later. For now, we're just going to go to replace mixer. So that's going to be the only instrument loaded up there. Now, a lot of these instruments will change in the sense of this big knob in the middle will have a difference as we, as we use it. We'll talk about that or look at some of those later. But I want to point out the more common stuff first. On the right hand side, we've got controls like attack, release, adding reverb in there, a limiter, a filter, which is rather handy. Um, have a listen to that. I can see myself using that and changing it in real time as I go through a piece. And then this stereo wideness. So we can have things like really, really mono. Have a listen to this. Or we could make that organ really, really wide. I'll push that control up there. Hands up, he'll be tempted to make everything really wide all of the time. Don't do that, by the way. You need some things to be in the middle of your mix. Um, we've also got some controls over here. We've got the mastery cue there, but this octava, which I think is handy. Not all of the instruments have an octava, but most of them do. Um, when you switch that on, it does what it says. It, it, it plays the octave of the note you're playing, yeah? So you can get some really sort of big chords going like this. handy when you've only got 10 fingers i guess but yeah that's, that is a handy feature to have in there so that's the sort of um overview of the basic controls in a minute i will talk about this big knob in the middle but first i just want to thank one of my viewers joe grint who recommended this plugin in my facebook cakewalk group i've noticed a number of people recommending free plugins there recently i love it now it may be worth your while joining that group because I'll be posting a challenge there in the next few days involving this very plugin. So I've got some short strings loaded up here and you can see that the big knob in the middle is labeled saturation. So if we play this and change that, then saturation is being added. Now that 
also has the effect of making it sound a bit louder. But this is not always a saturation control for all instruments. If we load up something else, let's go this time for bombastic basses. We'll just add that in there. In this case, it's a bass boost, yeah? So have a listen. Now, if you're listening on your phone speaker, you're not really going to hear that. But with anything else, hopefully you'll hear a nice sub bass introduced there. I rather like that. Um, looking at some other things here, Luminous Choir, we talked about this earlier. This is where we can change the actual vowel sound being used. So... Really nice there. And then finally, let's look at Wretched Rises. Okay, so in this case, it's really suitable. We've got this um, sound with this kind of a crescendo here. Have a listen. Well, it's not really a crescendo, but anyway, um, it's a slide up across an octave. Now, we can actually change the the time in which that occurs so it's linked to your door so it's very musical this is happening over four beats we could change this to one eighth note yep or we can make it really really long say over 12 beats So as you can see, this big knob in the middle changes quite dramatically from one instrument to another to something which is suitable for that instrument. I think that's clever design, really, really handy. It's not just a volume control all the time or something like that. I really do like this design. So far, we've just been loading up one instrument at a time, but we can actually load in multiple instruments at a time. I'm starting off here with these short strings. You can see the area of the piano keyboard here where they are actually played. Now let's load in some horns. I'm going down to the mixer area here, clicking on the plus button. I'm going to add in those horns by clicking there on the horns. So now I've got both of those instruments loaded and you can see where the horns are played in this area of the keyboard here. Yeah, They haven't got such a wide range as the strings. So as we play through, we can hear the strings there, but then when we go up, we can hear both instruments at the same time. Yeah, those horns are kind of there on top of the strings. They both share that range of the piano keyboard. So you may not want that to happen actually. So you can change that by going to the advanced tab up here. And then we get to control where each instrument is played. So with the heroic horns here, we can see that they're played within this range. Now we can actually change how sort of wide and narrow that range is there, but we can also drag the whole thing. I'll drag it all the way down to the bottom here so that the horns are playing, being played at the bottom end of the keyboard. Yeah, with the string being played a little further up. And then you can sort of mix and match them as you wish. Now, one of the best examples of this is when we load up some multis. So if we go up to library at the top here and then go to multis, we can see the selection here. I'm just going to load up braving the waves here. Yes, we'll click on the yes there. It all loads up. And we can actually see we've got four instruments in here. So towards the lower end here, yeah, we've got... We've got our percussion sounds here. As we get a little further up, sorry, I played a percussion sound there at the same time as these ones. We've actually got basses and horns playing at the same time here. Yeah, and they're not actually playing even the same note. They're actually playing a harmony, which can be quite handy. And then further up, we've got the strings. And they've been set up to play in octaves so this is really handy i think in terms of saving resources a little bit but also um, often a better way to organize your project rather than having many many contact instances loaded up this is an example of a really great free library but not all free libraries and plugins are worth your time spent downloading and installing them so luckily for you i've put in the hard work and found the best of the free libraries and plugins i've put them all together in a playlist which you can click on on the other side of this logo so grab yourself a coffee and start binging.